so there's some little dogs up on their patio. He's in Pasadena. So, I'm gonna let him go up and relax it. Go up on the patio and you know that. Good boy, come on. Good boy. So this is a nice, okay, all the way in. Good boy. It's a nice low level distraction because they're out of, out of range, right? He can't actually go say hi to them. So he can go look, but uh, he can't actually approach all the way. So it's a little bit easier for his practice. Listen pretty well there, though. Happy with that. So they're, they're up there somewhere, I think. Come on! Hurry up! Come on! Come on! That's a good boy! That's a good boy. Good job. So I'm trying to get more of a running response from it because he just kind of saw, he wants to saunter over. So that's why I'm putting so much energy into the recall. Just trying to get him to pick up pace a little. He's a little lazy in the evening, so we might have to switch our training session times. We're going to do uh, a waterfront session tomorrow so I can get some more dog stuff on video. Um, where I can just set up the tripod and get it on so it's not as rocky with me holding the camera. <clears throat> and then you can see what I'm doing too. He's doing pretty well though. He just gets uh, super duper excited when he sees other dogs. I, he just wants to play more excited when he sees big dogs. And I think it's more because they're better playmates for him. Oh, do 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 do? That's okay. I'll get that on camera. Nice off. Um, so little dogs are easier for him. And there's a lot of them around here. But uh, he did pretty good. He got, he's, I got his vocalizing under control pretty easily. So it might just be um, some handling for on leash stuff. Like here's a dog barking in the distance there. Come on. Ah, that good boy. Hey. Hey. All the way, dummy. There you go. All the way. There you go, bud. Yeah, I know. We just want to bud. You're not allowed to play with that one, no. Good boy. Oh, it's hard to be you. We gotta pick up or do this. So that's just barking in the distance. So a lower level practice. So distraction, but you can't actually see the dog. Well, I can see him actually. He's behind a little fence over there. Harder for him, obviously, the first time he hears that sound. Still alert, though. So still good practice to come. Good boy. Let him get a little closer. That dog's behind a fence. It's nice and quiet, though, actually. I don't mind that. He's just kind of sauntering and looking. And if he looks over at me, I'm going to reward him. Because that's kind of what I'm looking for, is a default look back. Let me just stop walking here and see if I get it. What I want him to do is, instead of staring at the dog barking, I want his default... Oh, we're going to go pee on stuff. I want his default to be to look at the handler. You, instead. Because that's more normal. Look at the dog that's barking at you or that's walking past, and then look back at the handler, and then look at the dog and look at the handler. It's kind of a routine that we're... Trying to get him into so that you have a better, at least a chance to control it. Come on. Oh, so many things to sniff, hey, Bosser?